Hello everyone and welcome. We are Ellie and Dan. We are a married couple based in the southwest of the UK and over the past year we have been converting an old builder's van into a tiny home on wheels and named her EB. Working through the long cold winter nights and the hot sticky summer we are almost complete. We have lived in some of the most remote places in the UK and have always had the travel bug and we've been fortunate enough to have travelled to some incredible places. But now we are even more eager to take EB and explore even more of this phenomenal world, making sure we enjoy every second, every minute and every day. We have some exciting things planned in the next years, so grab yourself a cuppa and join us as we continue to save our pennies, explore the places close to home and plan a trip of a lifetime in EB. Welcome, I'm Ellie. And I'm Dan. And with our van EB, we are EB Goes Everywhere. Over the past six months, we've grown such an amazing community of you guys over on our Instagram. We've loved making content and videos for you, so we've decided to make a YouTube channel. With the launch of this channel, we are doing a giveaway of one of our hoodies as we hit 5,000 followers over there. Check out our Instagram and I'll also link the details on how to enter in the description. Last June, we bought EB and we've been converting her ever since. And we cannot wait to take you on some amazing adventures in her. At the moment, we're still working full time as we try and save some money to allow us to go on a six month road trip across Europe at the end of the year. But that brings us to here and now and what we plan to do with our channel. We are going to be travelling some of the places closest to home on our weekends and we are going to take you guys along with us. So please like, subscribe and follow us on our journey. Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? Guys, Dan's been at Cricket all day today and I've been packing the van. Um, so we are now off and ready to go. Um, we're going up to Dunster um, in Somerset uh, for the night and then we're going to have a look around the village. So we're going to take you along with us. We've been driving for five minutes and I already need to go to the toilet. So I've made Dan pull over into some dodgy lay by and that's why we've got Evie. Are we finally actually ready to get going now? <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're ready. Let's go and get a McDonald's and find somewhere to park. You're just one lost soul. Order 27, please. I'm so hungry, but I'm going to blame it on Dan. I was going to cook tonight, but he finished really late, so... That's why we're having McDonald's. I normally do cook. And also, you're gonna have to bear with us while we get used to this whole vlogging thing. It's taking a bit of getting used to talking to the camera, but hopefully we'll get the hang of it. Um, I think Dan's feeling a bit more awkward than I am, but hopefully we'll get used to it and um, we can bring you some good videos. You're just one lost soul here to break the mold. When you see me, do you believe in a higher love? Somebody let the sun come up again. What you need is the heat of the summer. Lost your so we're now in bed, guys, and we're going to leave it there and pick up tomorrow morning and um, enjoy our day. Night! When you see me, do you believe in a higher love? Somebody let the sun come up again. What you need is the heat of the summer. Lost your mind, need the light to recover. I swear we're headed on the better days, and the sun will go. Sometimes when you arrive late at a park up like we did last night, you're just so unaware of what's beautifully around us. Just have a look at this view. Sun come up again. What you need is the heat of the summer. Morning guys! So we parked up in Minehead last night, which is um, the village just on from Dunster. So um, we didn't really sleep very well, did we? <laughs> no, someone here made me get up at half past one to move the van because the wind was a bit too strong for you to sleep. <laughs> so that was all fun and games. I thought we were going to roll into the sea, but you know, it was really bad wind, really, really windy. And um, 
we moved and it was a little bit better so that's good um but now we're just on a little walk on the beach because it's absolutely beautiful look and then we're gonna go get some milk because we haven't got any milk and also um go to Dunster and have a look around there um we'll see you in a bit so the reality of taking pictures for Instagram is the fact that I haven't actually got any milk for my cup of coffee. So we're now running to the shop to get milk. What you need is the heat of the summer. Lost your mind, need the light to recover. I swear we're headed on the better days and the summer. So sometimes you find an EB size space and sometimes you find an EB size car park. We've literally got the whole car park to ourselves. Okay. Dunster's in the northeast of Somerset and it's famous for the thick wall they used to make, which was once called Dunster. In the early 17th century, um, they ha used to have a huge yarn market, um, but Unfortunately, in the 18th century, the whole of the wool trade in Dunster completely um, declined and it was moved to different parts of the country. But Dunster is actually named after Dunster Wool. I'm trying my hardest to find silver and clouds or pinning them down. I'm finding it's useless because you come to mind at the worst of times. Where they used to sell all their yarn and wool in their market on the market days. Um, it was built in the 1600s by George Lateral of Dunster Castle, which is really cool. It's amazing. We walked into the centre of the village, which was only about a five minute walk from the car park. We were welcomed by an quaint and fascinating medieval village. Charming shop fronts and cobbled streets make you feel as though you've entered a different era. Dunster Castle towers above the village, making itself known from the outset, and makes you feel small while admiring the many generations of stories it tells. Many of the shops do meals and cream teas, making it a lovely day out for everyone. I believe there's a little fudge shop here for Dan's dad, so we're gonna have to go and check that out. But unfortunately, Eddie, it's closed. Okay, so we've come into Dunster Castle, um, 13 pound a person, run by the National Trust. Um, we've had to take a little minute <laughs> to sit down because it's boiling hot and there's a massive steep hill to walk into it. So <laughs> we're just currently sat down admiring the view. So we're just about to take you inside of the castle for a tour around. Can't wait to show you what's inside. This castle is steeped in history. It's been through many monumentous events, including the Anarchy, the English Civil War and the Glorious Revolution. In the 11th century, a timber castle was constructed. By the 12th century, a stone shell was built. The Domohans first owned the castle, but sold to the Luttrell family who occupied it until the late 20th century. The Great Gatehouse is one of the only original remains of the medieval castle, as it was greatly altered in the 17th century. This place takes you back to a time that is very different to what we know, allowing us to appreciate a completely different lifetime. So, something you're going to have to get used to on this YouTube channel, we take a lot of breaks and sit down a lot. So. So 
so we're trying to find the gardens and the um, mill and I've heard there's a really nice tea room there so so Dan when are you gonna buy me some gardens like this <laughs> I wish we could afford it so lovely along here you've got these gorgeous plants I think they're doing a lot of work to like put different types of species and stuff in so it's incredible there's a gorgeous little river walk around here as well The watermill in Dunster dates back to the 18th century, which is mentioned in the Doomsday Book. It's a Grade 2 listed building and situated on the River Avil in the River Gardens. Today the watermill is fully functional and produces stone ground whole mill flour, which you can actually see being made. So what does this power do? I don't know. It obviously powers Henry the Hoover. Nailed it. <laughs> I found it. I found the tea room. And Annie, of course, is absolutely buzzing about that. Having us gone, no doubt. <laughs> You'll soon start to realise that we love a little cafe. <laughs> Especially a nice tea room for the scones. So guys, with the theme of everything this trip, we've arrived at Dunster Beach and we've literally got the place to ourselves. It seems to be the way this weekend that everything's going to be. The wind is blowing my hair everywhere, but um, I think we're going to have to start heading home now. Start getting ready for work for the week, but it's been amazing. Um, I need to make some tea before we go, I suppose. But um, I think we're probably going to have to start heading home now. That's the worst part of the weekend. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Can't wait to be doing this all time. Right, we're going to leave the video there, guys. Thanks for watching, and we're going to catch you in the next one.